Hey guys, Casual Gamer Chorus from Everyday here, and today I'm going to teach you how to destroy everything in PSO2 as a luster, so let's get started. So before we start this guide, I'm going to recommend that you bind weapon action to a button like Shift and bind dodge to a key like E. This allows you to never bind weapon action to your PA slots and also allows you to dodge instantly. So now that we got that out of the way, let's break down luster. First, the mag. The mag for luster can be any attack, as long as it's level 201 stat, you're A-OK. -okay. Next, move arts and stay arts. It sounds complicated at first, but it's actually extremely simple. A stay art is when you stay still and do a photon art, while a move art is when you move and do a photon art. It's really that easy, and it changes the properties of your photon arts. And now we hit Luster's main mechanic, Voltage. Every 100 voltage you accumulate will cast Shift and D-Ban upon yourself. At 500, you'll enter a state called High Voltage. This will increase your critical chance, reduce cooldowns for skills, and also reset your Luster will, allowing you to die another time. When your voltage runs out, you'll receive HP and PP depending on the amount of voltage that you had left. And now we're going to cover one of the most complicated mechanics for Luster, Quick Cut and Quick Shoot. Quick Cut appears after performing a PA. Once you perform a PA, there will be a horizontal flash on your character. By inputting a normal attack, you will do what's called a Quick Cut and teleport you towards the enemy. Quick Shoot, however, is a little bit more complicated. Based on your style, after fulfilling certain criteria, you will see a vertical flash on your character. For Fomel, for example, when you perform an enhanced combo, there will be a vertical flash allowing you to do a quick shoot. You enable a quick shoot by hitting a weapon action once you see this vertical flash. And finally, the last mechanic, Slash Rise and Slash Fall. Both of these are triggered by holding down Jump after you do an attack. Depending on your HP threshold, you'll cast either Megiverse or Xanverse. If you're above 75% HP, you will automatically cast Xanverse. If you're below 75% HP, you will cast Megiverse. And now, let's break down the styles. First, we have Baron. Baron requires an Ice or Light Elemental Gunblade and focuses on Stay Arts. It also gives you guard points at the start of your normal attacks and your PAs. The charge normal for Baron puts down a field that does damage and inflicts binds to enemy. The weapon action is a charge shot that deals a lot of damage to a single target. Next, we have Zondi. Zondi requires a lightning or wind elemental gunblade and focuses on move arts and performs move arts faster. The charge normal attack for Zondi puts a vacuum that sucks up enemies and the weapon action is a chargeable AoE lightning strike. And next, we have Fomel. Fomel requires a fire or dark elemental gunblade. This is an all-rounder style. The charge normal attack allows you to inflict Jelen onto enemies when you perform a photon art. The weapon action is a rapid thrust followed by a large damage final thrust. And finally, we have the non-element style. This is achieved by hitting the weapon action twice in a row. As a result, you'll explode and lose your current style temporarily. You'll want to avoid entering purge style as much as possible, as the uses of the style are actually pretty niche. So you might be wondering, which of the three styles do you choose? Well luckily, it's all down to preference. Personally, I prefer Fomel and I recommend Fomel, because the Gelin Spear is synergized with Phrase Decay. This gives you 5% more damage just for free. So breaking down the Photon Arts is pretty simple and easy. You want to use Hollow Point and Scatter Slug for multiple targets. If they're too far away for Scatter Slug or they're in a straight line, you want to use Hollow Point over Scatter Slug. For single targets, Flesh Shed and Brand Extension are what you're going to be using. You can also use Flesh Shed as a gap closer. And for Smart PA, you want to throw that directly into the trash, it is not going to help you at all. So now let's get into the most hardest part of playing Luster, the damage rotation. The combo that we're going to be learning today will be focused on Fomel, because I feel like this is probably the easiest one to learn. So before you start the fight, you want to start off by charging a charged normal. This will give you three Jelen Spears that you can use for Jelen. 
Next, gap close by either tapping dodge forward twice while locked on or using move arts flush shed. As soon as you reach the target, hit flush shed and then immediately follow up with brand extension. If you do this correctly, you will spawn what I call the Dorito. Next, right before brand extension's animation ends, press brand extension again. Hold it until the animation is done. Once you let go, you'll see a vertical flash on your character. Press the weapon action button and you'll do a full mail quick shoot. From here, flesh it once and repeat the brand enhance combo. If you mess up and you don't have enough gauges, flesh it twice or thrice and that will give you enough bars. Don't forget to refresh your gel and spheres as well. So overall, that is actually the hardest part about playing Luster, is just getting this combo down. You're going to be spending quite a lot of time in practice quest damage calculation learning this. But once you get this down, we can finally move on to the way to maximize your Luster DPS. And that brings us to counters. Your solution on Luster is to counter literally everything in the game. Every single damage source that exists in the game will actually give you a crap ton of damage. And the nice thing about Luster is that all of your iframes are extremely generous. You can either counter by hitting the weapon action button or by double tapping dodge. Learning the pattern so that you can basically counter everything in the game is going to seriously improve your Luster gameplay. I personally recommend that you do Solo Sodom or Omega Masquerade so you can get really used to countering everything in the game, because it's going to literally make your Luster gameplay feel way more fun and you'll be dealing a lot of damage. So overall, that is pretty much how you play Luster. I left out some things that would overcomplicate this guide or turn this into a 20 minute guide and I honestly don't believe guides should be past like 8 minutes. Anyways, if you like this kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts down below about how you enjoy Luster or anything you want to add on to people who are watching this guide. This is Casual Game Records from Every Dairy, and next week we're going to talk about NGS and the beta.